Let us pray, the angelus, please stand. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word, what, word was made flesh and dwelled among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our, into our heart that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may be his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Prayer before Mass, please kneel. Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the regions of eternal light, and poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings and Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the wound of your Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins 
and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the blessed, blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, virgin, all angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, Cry out full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways. Like a nation that is done what is just, and not abandon the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, please to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not say it? Afflict ourselves and you to take no note of it. Lo, on your fast, there you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fuss ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast, so as to make your voice heard to high. Is this the manner of fasting I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like a reed, and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this fast a day acceptable to the Lord? This rather is a fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, Sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning back on your own. Then, when, then your lights shall break for like a dawn, and your wounds shall quickly be healed. 
your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. Please all stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory, we praise you, we bless you, we worship and adore you, Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang Lenten season po ay pinapaalalahanan tayo ng tatlong values sa ating pananampalataya during Lenten season, which is prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. Bakit nga ba tayo nagpa-fasting? Siguro sabi ng iba, at napalitan na kasi ang meaning ng fasting, sabi nila, Diet ako, Father. Oh, ba't hindi ka kumakain? Diet ako. Ba't ang payot-payot mo? Diet ako. Napalitan ng fasting ang diet. No? We do fasting kasi sabi nila, kailangan sa health, Father. Hindi pwedeng tumaba ako, Father. Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ako ng kolesterol. Hindi pwedeng magkaroon ako ng mga taba-taba sa aking katawan. At ang sabi pa nila, nagda-diet or nagpa-fasting sila para sumeksi sila. <laughs> But then, my dear friends, ano nga ba talaga ang fasting? Ang fasting, ito yung parparitan tayo, itibagbagi tayo, no? pinagbabawalan natin yung mga sarili natin sa mga bagay na gustong gusto natin. Ang fasting ay hindi lamang po sa ating religion, kundi ang karamihan sa mga religion ay they value much ang fasting. Sa Jewish tradition, o di kaya pati rin ang mga kapatid natin, mga Muslim, they value fasting for expiatory o di kaya, for penance. O di kaya, for the forgiveness of sins. For repentance. For reconciliation. We do fasting for something good. Na halimbawa, pag ako ay nagpa-fasting, kukunti lang yung kinakain, umaga, hapon, o di kaya, pati pa sa hapunan. At kapag sobrang gutom na gutom ako, I'm offering these sacrifices for something good. Na halimbawa, kapag may nagpapadasal sa akin na sana makapasas sa board exam, o di kaya sana gumaling siya sa karamdaman niya, I offer these sacrifices for 
fast recovery of this brother or this sister, o di kaya I'm offering the sacrifice para makapasa itong tao na to, o di kaya I'm offering sacrifices for safe trip, for safe travel, at iba-iba pang mga dasal na sinasamahan na sinasamahan ko ng fasting. Sabi sa Jewish tradition, prayer is good pag sinamahan ng fasting and justice. And fasting is empty. O di kaya walang kahulugan. Or fasting is meaningless kapag hindi mo sinam sinamahan ng dasal. Oo, siguro kailangan lang mag-fasting kasi kailangan ng katawan mo na hindi kumain ng marami. Hindi pwedeng tumaba kasi magkakasakit ka. Hindi pwede ang mga ganitong pagkain kasi nga bawal sa kalusugan mo yan. Pero samahan po natin ng dasal na nawa ang Panginoon ay bigyan niya tayo ng mabuting kalusugan. Hindi lamang dahil upang sumeksi tayo o di kaya kailangan upang maganda ang ating kalusugan, maganda ang ating pangangatawan. Mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, in the season of Lent, hindi natin pwedeng ihiwalay ang prayer, ang fasting, at almsgiving. When we fast, samahan natin ng dasal. At kung ano man yung pinagbabawalan natin sa ating mga sarili, na halimbawa, konti-konti lang ang ating kakainin, ay ibigay natin sa mga nangangailangan. Na halimbawa, ang isang tao daw, lalo na sa ating mga Pilipino, mahilig tayo kasi kumain. Breakfast. Snack. Lunch. Merienda ulit sa hapon. Hapunan. At yung iba, nagbe-midnight snack pa. Pwede naman nating tanggalin yung mga merienda time natin at ito yung ibigay natin sa ating kapwa-tao upang sila din ay makakain. The gospel is simply reminding us, my dear friends, na noong kapanahonan ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo, hindi nagpa-fasting ang kanyang mga disipulo sapagkat andyan sa kanilang tabi ang ating Panginoon. Pero dahil wala na ang Panginoon sa kanilang piling, umakyat na sa kalangitan, and this is the very reason why we fast. We fast for something good. We fast, samahan natin ng ating mga dasal at samahan natin ng pagbibigay ng tulong sa ating kapatao ng sagayon maging meaningful ang ating fasting at kaaya-aya sa paningin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Please all stand. By fasting, we give God space in our lives. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen us in self-denial that we may set our minds and hearts firmly on Him. We say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as followers of Christ, we may conform to the precepts of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Prayer. That God's people may persevere in their lengthened sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who deny themselves for the Lord's sake may find happiness with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying and those who are faced with life's sorrow may be filled with God's grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may freely share in the life of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, grant us the strength to devote ourselves to a life in the Spirit that we may rise now above our weaknesses and share fully in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated.
sa pagpapalamon Tanda ng bawat puso Pagkatinibig mo Ayoy nananalig na mamahal sa'yo Di na pa'y nanagmula sa butil ng trigo Pagkain ng ibigay ng buhay mo At alak na nagmula sa isang tangkay ng ubas Inumi na pibigay lakas. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Be still. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. We remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds, and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age-old disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Sino man ang nabubuhay para sa sarili naman? Walang sino man ang namamatay para sa sarili naman? Tayo lahat ay may panalagutan sa Isa't isa 
tayong lahat ay tinipan ng Diyos na kapiling niya. Please kneel for the prayer before crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel and with pure and soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, true contrition for my sins, and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender piety your five most precious woods wandering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Festation of Piat, I have resource to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits in the hope of receiving new blessing which you know i need in life day of dearest mother to shower upon us all the blessing which we need most for body and soul particularly and a special grace to die in god's love through christ our lord amen our lady of piat pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.